हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 962 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज सम इंप्रूवमेंट्स इन रबर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड दैट इज टू सेंथेसाइज द रबर द इंडस्ट्रीज दे हैव एडॉप्टेड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस सम लेटेस्ट मेजर्स एंड सम इंप्रूवमेंट to produce the rubber with quality and also to reduce the uh, cost of the production so first thing is they adopted the emulsion polymerization second they introduced sterine monomer up to 30% in synthetic rubber thirdly temperature is maintained at 0 degree centigrade and also the introduction of some antioxidants so these are all adoption and introduction of these measures could improve the quality of synthetic uh, rubber uh, as we know that russians it was in 1930s they started synthesizing the rubber by cracking up the petroleum and that cracking was the butane and that rubber is known as that is bun rubber and then germans they started producing the synthetic rubber from 2 chloro butadiene and that rubber is known as neoprene rubber and that is the modern concept of a uh, synthetic rubber where chlorobutadiene is uh, used and to produce the rubber we are following two uh, methods of synthesis one is known as addition polymerization in the case of addition polymerization two of the monomers may be ethene they will be added and there will be formation of polythene so that is actually addition polymerization without loss of any atom the second is that is condensation polymerization in the case of condensation polymerization two of the monomers some molecules they are condensed but there will be loss of atom for example if chloro butadiene is condensed in presence of sodium in that case the chlorine sodium chloride will be eliminated so two molecules will be condensed but there will be loss of atom and this uh, synthetic rubbers they are classified on the basis of raw materials we are using so all these uh, factors i will be taking one by one so to bring the improvement in rubber industries the following adoption or uh, steps are taken and number one uh, improvement in the rubber industry have been made in the following directions and they are as follows a adoption of emulsion polymerization system confined in low conversion b introduction of styrene monomer as a co monomer to about 30% c adoption processing temperature uh, is 0 degree centigrade and d is by using a variety of initiators antioxidants so these are the measures adopted in rubber industries to improve the synthesis of uh, rubber a uh, number 2 a uh, synthetic rubber known as sodium uh, divinyl rubber so this sodium divinyl rubber was manufactured by russians in the year 1931 and from a uh, divinyl or butadiene obtained from ethyl alcohol or by cracking up the petroleum or from butane 
So either from butane or from curcumin of the petroleum or from ethyl alcohol, they were successful uh, to produce the rubber, and that was in 1931 by Russian. The same rubber was also obtained by Germans, and they call it Buna rubber. Uh, this uh, Russians and Germans also manufactured successfully another important synthetic rubber, and that important synthetic rubber is called neoprene. And neoprene is the most important uh, synthetic rubber in modern time. And this uh, rubber is polymerized chloroprene or 2-chlorobutadiene, and is one of the most important synthetic rubber of modern. Time uh, number three. It is extremely important to find a way in which small molecules may join together in large molecules. Uh, this process is known as polymerization, and it may be of two types. One is called uh, addition polymerization, and the other one is called condensation polymerization. So actually, we have to find out such a way. So that the monomer or simple molecules, how they can be joined together in the form of long chain polymer, that is by two method. One is that is addition polymerization to manufacture the rubber, and second one is condensation polymerization to manufacture the rubber. These two uh, methods are used in the synthesis of synthetic rubber. Number three, in addition polymerization during the synthesis of rubber, uh, it is simple addition of monomer molecules takes place with each other without loss of any atom uh, from the original molecules. For example, formation of polythene from ethene molecule. So one monomer that is ethene molecule is polymerized. And you will get polythene that is CS2, CS2 outside bracket and that polymer, and there is no loss of any item. In the case of condensation polymerization, the reaction will take place and there will be loss of item. So, in this uh, monomer, molecules react to form a bond between the molecules, and some of the atoms present are lost in the form of product. For example, reaction between chlorine atom and Sodium atom. A bond is formed between sulfur and carbon atoms, and long chain polymer is formed called uh, thiopole. Number four, synthetic rubber has been classified according to their nature of raw materials, and mainly two types of raw materials we are expecting. One is monomer, and that monomer is of same type, and second one is a different type of monomers. So the first one is a single monomer, uh, such a ethylene only, uh, butadiene only, isoprene only, and isobutene only. So only these monomers, single one, are polymerized. There is no any different type of or other type of monomers. That is called single monomer polymerization of rubber. Uh, the second is mixture of two different monomers. Here the monomers may not be the same. The two monomers which are going to be polymerized to form the rubber, uh, they can be different. So it is giving rise to copolymer, for example, styrene and butadiene, two different uh, monomers, they are polymerized, uh, that is uh, rubber, then butadiene, Acrylonitril polymer rubber. The polymers may be general purpose polymers to manufacture the rubber, I mean this uh, tire and tube. The other may be special type of uh, polymer used to make the shoe rubber, also gaskets, battery case, 
balloons, space suits. And since uh, they have started adopting, I have already mentioned that some improvement in the rubber industry, and that is called immersion polymerization. With the help of immersion polymerization, there is lot of improvement in rubber industries and quality is improved and variety of uh, rubber products are produced due to the introduction of immersion polymerization. So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.